So Morgan over at Turning Point USA went to University of Arizona to give students sort of a patriotic quiz. So we're going to be figuring out how well those students did. And then we're going to be wrapping up this video with a creator highlight. There's a short video that we absolutely have to talk about. Stay tuned for that, you guys. Before we jump into all of this, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you all for being here. If you could please really quickly smash that like button for the algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it as it does greatly help the channel. Now, as always, you can find the link to this full video down in the description below. Morgan does street videos for Turning Point. She does a pretty good job. Some of the videos are a little bit longer, some of them are shorter. She kind of just uh, goes around with Charlie Kirk where he's doing school speeches and she just goes around the campus and talks to students about whatever, you know, the hot topic is that week. So let's go ahead and jump on in. When was the Declaration of Independence signed? What year? I don't. I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, yeah. 1776. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I do not know history. Declaration of Independence. Come on, guys. Yes. You can do it. It's not 1776, right? Yeah. Oh, Good job, 17. Oh, okay. July 4th, 1776. 1776, but it was actually signed on July 2nd, two days before. It was ratified July 4th, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, that's actually pretty impressive. Okay. Good job on that. Good job on that, for sure. I think a lot of people have probably missed that. She did initially ask the year but uh, signed and ratified. If they know that, bonus points, okay? We're not expecting too much from college students nowadays. Bonus points on that. Well done. That's uh, 1776, right? There you go. Do you know the date? Wait, it's July 4th, right? Yeah. July 4th, it was ratified, oh. but the day it was signed was... Okay, I actually don't know the day it was signed. 1776. Yeah, 1776. Good job, nice. No, no. You 1776. can do it. 1885. 1776. Good job. July 4th, 1776. So that's Independence Day, but it was actually signed on July 2nd. Oh, I did know that. I, I remember that. I'm sure you did. 1776. <laughs> there you go. July 2nd, 1776. You're the first person to get that right. July 2nd. I was in the military for five years, so. I mean, that's actually pretty surprising. I think for anybody that I would be asking that, uh, if they said July 2nd to me, I would actually be pretty surprised. I'm not I'm not shocked or disappointed by the July 4th. As long as you know the year, uh, that's great. I do think that, you know, a lot of this education should be a little bit more common for American students, obviously. You know, I have a friend that just became a, an American citizen a couple days ago from Brazil. And he knows all this stuff. You know, we have, we have new immigrants that are coming in legally, by the way. Uh, we have new immigrants that, that know this type of stuff. Why do American citizens not? But hey, we'll settle. If you know the year, at least that's good. Some people missed it. Some people just totally got it and nailed it. Good job so far. Next question. You know how many people are in the House of Representatives? Ooh, how many representatives? 435. It's like... It's like 60. 435. 435. It's like 465. 35. Oh, so close. 40. It's more than senators. No idea. Yeah. I genuinely don't know what they're talking about. 60 and, and 40? I have no clue what they're thinking about there. How do you, how do you, I mean, you at least know that it's in the hundreds, right? Come on, you guys. I don't know. 435. You just should know. 435. And the House of Representatives should be around 150. Come on, man. A little bit more. 213. <laughs> 435. 435? Do you know how- that, Okay, this guy's just on fire right here. He did mention he, he, he served. I, th I think he's every single question so far. So not bad, not bad. People messed up on that one. Not bad though, not bad. That guy's, uh, he's he's in the lead right now. Next question. Senators there are? That one's easier. 100. It's two per state, so 100. There you go. Quick math. Oh, there's like two from like each state. I'm gonna go with like 100. I always get that one mixed up with how many people are in the House of Representatives and how many people are in the Senate. Okay, let's see if I can give you a hint. There's two senators per state. So how many people would be in the Senate? Oh yeah, because isn't like, oh gosh. Well oh my gosh, lady. I don't think she got a single one right. She doesn't even know what country she's in. <laughs> she, she doesn't even know which country she's in right now. What are you doing? <laughs> Two per state. Do you know how many that is? I don't even know how many states there are. I don't know where I am. Gosh. Well, math is hard. 100. Why 100? Two for each state. Is it 100? Yeah. Do you know why it's 100? I don't know why. It's, it's two per state, right? Yeah. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, granted, this one was a lot easier than the House of Representatives one. 
with the uh, 435, but still, I, I feel like a lot of us are seeing these videos, including my own, right, where we go to college campuses, and it's not like I'm like lying when I show people what the experience was on a college campus, but in many college campuses across the country, I think people would either be talking smack about these questions because they don't maybe they don't like the country or they just don't know because they're not that patriotic. They don't have that education. The University of Arizona kind of showing up. There's a few people that are missing it. I get it, but not doing too bad. Let's move on. Last question. All right, everyone. Let's take a few moments to talk about today's sponsor. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habit. I'm not talking about some weird gimmicky solution that does absolutely nothing. I'm talking about today's sponsor and they look at the problem in a different way. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-nominated device that does just that. Instead of electronics, fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. So you get it. Instead of bad, fume is good, and it's a habit you're free to enjoy that makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do while breaking your bad habit. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect when I first saw fume, but I've tried a few flavors, and they're a lot more flavorful than I thought. It feels very fresh. You guys, summer is coming up. I challenge you to break your bad habit before then. Visit tryfume.com and use off code CLUE for 10% off your journey pack today. That's try F U M off code CLUE for 10% off your journey pack today. I'll put a link down in the description below. Let's get back to this video. Next question, who created the original American flag? It was a woman. Her name was like, yes. um, I think it was Mary. Uh. To the B. Oh no, it was, <laughs> oh gosh. Was it a Bethany? Uh, kind of close. close. Bet is your hint. I don't think I know her full name. Yeah, I definitely I just, don't. Betsy Ross. That's what it was. That Betsy sounds Ross. familiar. Betsy Ross? It was a girl. I don't remember. Yes. Ruth? No. <laughs> no. It was a girl. Her name starts with a B. Betty something. Betty. Okay, this sounds cliche. Like I remember this from Schoolhouse Rock. Wait, is it Betsy Ross? Nice. Betsy Ross. It was a woman. I know that. Yep. It was a woman. Oh, I didn't even know that. She was like, she was like sitting down sewing it, but I don't remember who it was. Iconic <laughs> photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No idea. Her name starts with a B. Barbara. Uh, no. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Betsy Ross. Nice. Dang. See, be like these chads in <laughs> No America. A lot of the young men did, did pretty good. Some of the women doing great as well. Uh, I think that girl, that one girl missed every single one in the video, but you know. <laughs> okay. We expect a lot of these students to not be very patriotic, to not really know this stuff. And it's refreshing to actually see some of these students being pretty educated around this topic. The Betsy Ross question is fairly difficult. Some people were kind of close, but uh, it would have been nice if, if Morgan actually educated a little bit on that as well, the, the the flag with the 13 stars on it for the 13 colonies. But still, I mean, she, she did a great job on this, on this uh, little patriotic quiz for the students. Let me know what you guys think. I, I seem to think that some of these kids are going to be all right. I think they're going to be all right. I, I, I took this as a bit of a white pill. Obviously, there's going to be people missing just really easy questions out there. But to see so many college students knowing these, to me, shows some level of, you know, patriotism and knowledge around their patriotism. I think that's pretty cool. Also, to piggyback on the kids will be all right, really quick, kind of unrelated, but definitely in that category of the kids are going to be all right, <laughs> really quick. New state mandated tampon dispenser in Connecticut. High school boys' bathroom ripped down in just 20 minutes, according to the principal. The principal says, I'm aware that the law says men's bathroom, but the action today that led to vandalism and destruction of property were the work of immature boys, not men. Belanda stated, the, the school principal, because... Uh, yeah, be a man and have tampons in your restroom. The young men are not having it. The kids may just be all right. I do want to get your guys' feedback on Morgan's video down in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this. Were you surprised by the responses? Again, we, we see so much negativity around college students. Perhaps there's colleges around the country that have a lot of young men that are similar to these chads, that know their American history, that understand American politics at least to some degree. Kind of a white pill. I think, again, they're going to be all right. <laughs> With a lot of negativity in the news lately, we need a little bit of hope. Okay, so, so to finish off the video, and this is an amazing exchange, I just wanted to throw it in the video because I, because I loved it so much. This is from Natalie Carey. 
I actually know Natalie Carey personally. She's starting to do more street videos, and I do want to highlight her one. You guys follow her. I'll put a link down to her uh, Instagram and YouTube channel down below so you can go follow her. She's going to start doing more full-length videos. So, and, and she does a great job. She's great with people. And I just want to show you guys this exchange because it's quite amazing. Tell me one thing that's, that was good under Trump. That was good under Trump? Yeah. I mean, we weren't in a, uh, we weren't on the verge. Oh, you tell me. I have one right here. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We weren't on the verge of World War III. Man, that's every president, bro. Every president sparked wars. No, -uh. name one new war he, under that, Trump. That's because he was cool with him. One new war under Trump. Shit, when we got out, so when he left, we had one. Shit. <laughs> that war was because of him. Which one? The Which one, one? going on now? It is? Wait, why? I don't fuck. <laughs> this exchange, it's on uh, Twitter, it's on Instagram, a few pages have posted it. That right there, talking to this guy, he's saying, Oh, <laughs> they're all starting new wars. Okay, Donald Trump, which which war did he start? Uh, well, there was one that started right as he left. <laughs> In her face. I just think that this exchange is, is pretty amazing because a lot of people, this is how a lot of the kind of anti-Trump pushback is, right? It's the just say stuff, hope that people don't really question it. And she's getting him to accidentally admit that Joe Biden, a new war was started under Joe Biden and not Donald Trump. And he didn't even mean to do that. Great exchange from Natalie. Great work, you guys. If you want to check her out, go in the link down below. We'll uh, we'll try to do some work with her a little bit later this year. She's uh, just trying to get more involved in the street content. We want to be uplifting new creators, especially during an election year. It's about educating. It's about changing more minds and uh, taking that culture back. Anyways, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Hit that like button for the algorithm. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified every single time that I post. And I will catch you all in the next video.